Um, so... <laughs> what? Why um, is this the highest level helmet that I have? Put it on. Is it just a piece of underwear? Oh, nice. Dope. Nice classic pair of tidy whities You look like a Mountie. You kind of do. <laughs> look like an asshole. You you <laughs> certainly do. You look like uh, uh, you look like you're going exploring for some more fucking underwear. Yeah. You're not wrong. Or like you're about to sexually assault somebody. Have you seen it? With the hammer. With the hammer, yeah, and your chin balls. There's uh, a Money Python sketch where John Cleese is like preparing an expedition to the Himalayas and the whole bit of the sketch is he's interviewing someone and he like dead ass the whole time thinks there's two of everything and oh, there is <laughs> and he, like he thinks he's interviewing two people he thinks there are two Himalaya peaks it's really funny that's funny as shit <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out it's just so on. absurd but it works so well they're so funny. I love Monty Python. My parents in here fucking still. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. They were going at it like crazy. Yeah, man. I wonder, good for them. I wonder if, like, if they they just, like, like when the dad collapsed, if they, he just was like, what the hell is in the bed? What's on my scrotum? And they're like, oh, they're like, oh, what the fuck? And they just took him back and put my him in boy. bed. My boy! And pretend like it never happened. My boy! Alright. Where is this emergency meeting? Not oh. at Cartman's house. At Kyle's Jeez. house. But we're still gonna go to Cartman's house because I think I can give Kenny a flower here, maybe? Jeez. Yeah, unless you're just locked out. One of my favorite Monty Python things is in the Meaning of Life, where they sail the building. Because uh, when we when I played Ark, when we were Vikings, uh, we would sail the boats, and you could only build in rectangles. So every boat in Ark came out looking like a building. It's so funny. It, it was like my favorite part of the game, because I would be like, "We're those dudes who just sail buildings. Let's do it." Um, my favorite Meaning of Life fun fact is that money python for the life of them could not get anyone any studios to buy the script for the movie like oh, dude, it's a fever dream at all and uh, what the holy grail no, no the meaning, meaning of, life. of life or it's no a... not me not meaning of life life of brian life of brian, life of brian. also i'm a fever sorry dream. but um and so i think it was terry just like randomly one day sent it to George so he could read the script because he George, they're friends George yeah. Harrison of the Beatles yeah and he wanted to read it and he called him up on the phone and he was like I'll give you the money to make the movie <laughs> <laughs> and they're like why and he's like because I fucking want to see it yeah he's just like because I'm dope and I was in the Beatles <laughs> So I'm yeah, the, in, literally the I'm movie George that got made was because George Beatles. Harrison was like, I want to see this uh, movie. I love George Harrison, that's so great. George Harrison of the Beatles. I'm the leader of the Beatles. I really wish they just made a biopic of them. Just of the Beatles with like that, that cast. Oh my god. That I would watch, but then it's done like tastefully. But they're still just like, oh, I'm Paul No, I want to be like Dewey Cox, but the Beatles. Yeah, I would love that. Like, just make everything is totally made up. In the, yeah. In the movie. Don't make it factual at all. That, oh, man, that'd be so great. <laughs> My <laughs> Elvis <Elvin> dick butters. <laughs> To stop Clyde? Yeah, remember Clyde betrayed us? No. Because he was banished from space and time. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. 
Oh man, no way we're gonna get girls. <laughs> Look at him! Yeah. <laughs> he can talk to girls. Oh, yeah. He's got fucking underpants on his head. <laughs> he That's... knows something that we don't. Is that the secret this whole time? Yeah, it's like I just have fashion. to put underpants on my head and girls yeah. will be like, oh, hey. You know, now that we're saying it out loud, it sounds really obvious. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh, that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> oh, frame rate. That was a little weird. Um, that dude just looks angry. Who do I buy stuff from? Okay, thank you. Oh, his name's Dog Poo. Yeah, you didn't know that? I did not know that. Oh, I think this is the guy that sells stuff. <laughs> Same. Let's load up on health potions. Get all Can the potions. Can you sell your other stuff? What stuff? The, Cause wasn't your inventory full? Um, of like certain types of potions, but like I'd rather uh, just use those potions in battle. Oh, I thought yeah. you were just like full of crap. <laughs> I mean, I am. I kn I know you are. I am very literally full of crap. Uh oh, I'm still in cell. I want buy weapons. Start mm. playing uh Diablo two again. That's cool. We're gonna get the yeah. battle though. I I, I never had Diablo and yeah, I've never played. It. Really wanted to play it. It looks cool. It's gonna sound really weird. I like Diablo 3, I think it's cool. I'd rather play Gauntlet if I'm gonna play a game like that. But I think Diablo 2 is, like, I never played it as a kid. It looks like there's like a tamale yeah. on your head. But yeah, a lot of people like Diablo 2 uh, as their favorite one, I hear. Uh, what, what do you do with your Necromancer? I just summon, uh, I have, I haven't put a single point into anything that's not summoning in mana. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just summon people. It's badass. Oh, dude, it's so dope. It's so dope. I just started we're gonna fight Shelly. Oh, you have to fight Shelly? I mean, we don't have to, but we're gonna. Uh, right that sounds here, scary. Well. I don't we're think right we should here. fight Shelly. Nothing can prepare you for this battle. <laughs> I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. Why do you have to fight her? I don't remember. Oh man. That's scary, man. Shelly's like the scariest fighter in the whole show. Yeah. Give me back my iPhone, demon. <laughs> oh, that's why. That's so great. Uh oh, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, dude, she looks like she's about to fuck some shit up. I'm scared. Yeah, give me this. Yeah, you need a little, uh,. Um, combustible courage. Exactly. Uh, which is the one that's really badass? I think it's this one. What time do you get off at? In the morning. Like, like seven. Eight. Oh man. Whack. So you gotta come back here and take a little nap and then go to work again. Oh fuck me! I kind of forgot that I have work in the afternoon too. Why you gotta remind me of all that terribleness? Damn. Yeah, and you know you're also gonna die one day. That is true. Not yeah. soon enough. If it makes you feel any better, I mean. I think I'm gonna live forever. I haven't aged in like 10 years. <laughs> it's kind of freaky, actually. Like, I've looked like this my it's entire life. It's just gonna life. hit you all at once, though. Well, like an Asian I think, person. I think, yeah. Just I mean, I boom. am technically Asian, so like that would make sense, yeah. Man. I'm gonna be 70, and I'm just gonna look like the dude who drank the wrong fucking grail. From uh, from Indiana Jones, where they're like you picked the wrong cup, and he just ages <laughs> oh! rapidly. It's gonna be me. What's your favorite Indiana Jones death? Uh, I think the the first part where the dude gets his heart ripped out. Kalima. That's really scary. Yeah. Kalima. Like the first time they do that in the movie, that was horrifying. Um, the Nazis is classic. Yeah, that's my favorite one is when they open the arc and the Nazi's face melts yeah. off. Oh! I have seen that That one gave part. me straight nightmares as a kid. I've seen that part, but I've never seen an Indiana Jones movie. Um, what? Well, I'm we should watch real. them. They're pretty good. Even though... They're the... very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Even though the, the last one sucked, like the, the one that Shia came out when we were kids. I love that video. <laughs> He's coming... Shia LaBeouf. Um... 
Shia LaBeouf. The scene with the ants was pretty cool. Where she, the, the, the chick gets eaten by the ants. That was fucking scary. I like barely remember that movie. I've kind of blocked it out of my mind. What's it called? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah. It's very it's bad. Got... I feel like I've heard of that. Or maybe I've seen it on Netflix and or it's something. it's got actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. My favorite part of that song Ew. is where they're like, well, you can do jujitsu. Body slam superstar Shia LaBeouf. Yo, Holes. Awesome movie. I agree. That was a good book, too. I read that book first, and then the movie came out, like, shortly after. Yeah, me too. Um, oh, Stan's kind of fucked like, up. Like, I didn't Transformers was okay, but I didn't get into the whole Transformers franchise that much. Only the first one is good. Yeah. The first one's, like, yeah. surprisingly good, too. Like, Yeah, all yeah. the other ones are pretty mediocre. I did enjoy the first one. I watched that with you for the first time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I remember watching it. I feel like... I remember we watched it on your laptop, and we were, like, having a sleepover, and we, we just, like, cooked bacon and, like, mm. ate it while we were Bacon sounds it. super good. I fucks with bacon. I, I could, could totally some eat right some now. bacon right now. I'm gonna throw a shit at this bitch. I was talking to my coworker. He's, like, two years younger than us, and I was telling him about... <laughs> Some somehow like the movie Super Bad got brought up, and I was like, oh, like I saw that in theaters. And How? My fucking, we were like ten. Yeah, my mom took me. She that did, must have been so awkward. So oh my god. Awkward. My uh, cause she, I wanted to see the Simpsons movie, and then my mom was like, nah, this comedy looks dope. And then like halfway through the movie, she was like, this is. I have made a huge mistake. Yeah, the worst decision I've ever made. So did she let you stay for the whole thing? Oh fuck yeah, dude. I mean, we paid for the there's, movie. Yeah, there's no way she was gonna not let him yeah. do that after being like, we're gonna go see this movie. But uh, that Halloween, I went as McLovin for Halloween, and no one our age knew what I was, and they were like, why the fuck are you wearing a vest? But then like everyone like. Four or five years older than us was like, McLovin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. That's a great movie. Man. I don't think I've seen it not on Comedy Central. So like, I've never seen the uncensored version. Oh, the uncensored version is so good. You, wait, are you telling me you haven't seen the part with the dicks with the drawings? I don't think so. Oh that's my like god, we're watching that, that after movie. this after this episode is over. Yeah, that <laughs> that is arguably the best scene in the movie. Damn. The, really? Uh, you know the scene where they're talking to McLovin and they're like, we should have been like guiding your cock, not blocking it. Yeah. He was 17 when they filmed that, so his parents had to be on set. Like, oh, legally. Oh, that's so awkward. During that scene, yeah. That's and so it, awkward. Apparently, it kept taking like a bunch of, like, they had to do it a bunch of times because they, like, couldn't get through the scene. They were like, no, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. We yeah, did it. he's making all kinds of faces and stuff. Yeah, and they're just like they were like laughing too much, and they were like, "This is this is awful."